Am I the asshole? For sending my niece to go live with her other uncle? My sill passed away 12 years and my brother passed away 4 years ago. They had a daughter who is 13 years old now. After my brother passed away both me and my sill's brother tried to adopt my niece but as my niece didn't have much of a relationship with her mom's family I was obviously the better option so I ended up adopting her. Recently my niece has got this very annoying habit that whenever we have a disagreement she says she would rather go and live with her other uncle. I know she doesn't mean it because 1. She barely knows her other uncle too. I have a high paying job and I'm able to provide things that most people aren't able to provide so she is too spoiled to be able to live with anyone else. About a week ago it happened again she told me she wants to live with her other uncle. This time I told her to go pack a bag. She went to her room. An hour later I went to her room and asked her if she is ready. She said she didn't mean what she said and doesn't really want to go. I told her that she should go anyway, she'll stay for a week and then she can tell me if she wants to stay there or come back home. She insisted that she already knows where she wants to stay but I told her to get in the car and drove her there. After a week I called and asked if she wants to come home and she said yes however she hasn't been talking to me. My family heard what happened and now everyone is mad at me and thinks I'm an asshole. Edit I decided to make an edit and let you know how things are going. We decided to have a conversation about it, I asked her how they treated her and she told me while her uncle was nice, her aunt made her feel unwelcome and she didn't feel good about being there and she doesn't want to live with them and she thinks I was a jerk for sending her even after she apologized. I apologized and told her that even if she wanted to live with them, I would still bring her back home because I love her too much and can't live without her, so she is stuck with me. She has some conditions for forgiving me for example she continues to torture me by forcing me to binge watch Riverdale with her. And she wants a daddy, daughter day and I'm guessing that I'm not going to like any of her plans based on the evil grin on her face, but I'll do whatever makes her happy. There were a lot of not the asshole votes. While I'm thankful I don't agree with them. I was definitely being an asshole, she was just being a typical teenager. I'm torn here. On one hand I can see how other people get upset because they aren't in your shoes. On the other hand, when my daughter kept threatening to live with her dad after we divorced I finally wiped my tears and told her that if she really wanted to then we would get schools switched and she could. That was the last time I ever heard that from her and that was two years ago. She sees her dad 50-50 but I never had her actually go stay with him that wasn't custody time. I know she doesn't mean it because 1. She barely knows her other uncle too. I have a high paying job and I'm able to provide things that most people aren't able to provide so she is too spoiled to be able to live with anyone else. You created this problem with her because you spoiled her instead of parenting her. You're the asshole. Has the child had any therapy to deal with their loss? The child is dealing with being abandoned. Of course her parents didn't do it on purpose. They died. But it is still tough on the child. She can't yell at them. She is an orphan child, dealing with her feelings and hormonal surges at the same time. Find someone that can help you figure out how to work through this. Help her work through this trauma. Parenting a typical child isn't easy, parenting a child of trauma is even harder. I had this upbringing. I was adopted by relatives who would pull this I don't have to keep you shit any time I was a normal bratty adolescent. Now I have abandonment issues. You're the asshole. Now nah, she's entering her teenage years, she's gonna throw an attitude, but that doesn't give her a get out of jail free card with abusing your feelings. What you did is tough love, whether or not the timing of it was good or if you jumped too quickly, I don't know, but young teens and adults at some point need to face the reality and consequences of their own words. Because of her past, has she been seeing a therapist? Usually when I meet children who threaten that they will run away or go live with someone else, it usually stems from deeper issues of abandonment or trust issues. You're the asshole.
As the kid who got moved around a lot between divorced parents who used to say stuff like this, I get that saying what she said is shitty. But the fact that you so easily passed her off to the next person broke her trust. You need to apologize and earn that back. Edit to fix a misspelled word. Nah maybe not the best parenting decision but you can be forgiven for that, all things considered. After she went to her room and told you she didn't really want to go, that would have been the time to have a talk, telling her she was being manipulative and that your feelings matter too. I assume uncle too and you had a discussion about this prior? Not the asshole go ahead and downvote. You have to stop spoiling your niece because she's going to run into trouble as an adult. Your niece needs to learn handle not getting her way or disagreements in a healthy manner. She can't always mess around because she will find out the hard way. Which she she did when you called her bluff and actually made her stay with her other uncle. Not the asshole. She said something hurtful multiple times. It was a consequence of her own actions. One week is not abandonment. You told her parameters and told her you were coming back. You probably need to talk to her about this though. Tell her that her words hurt because you love her, want her and that this is her permanent home if she wants it. Ask her how it made her feel as well so she feels heard. Good luck. Not the asshole, it's not abandonment if he told her the parameters and allowed her back. Did you guys scream abandonment when your parents sent you to your grandparents house against your will? Being an orphan is tough but she knew she was wrong when she changed her mind after OP told her to pack a bag. I think repeatedly saying she wanted to move is beyond lashing out and needed to be addressed. Please get counseling for you and her. This is not how to best parent a child who's experienced trauma or a 13 year old. Go apologize, give her some reassurance, a hug and then talk together about how best you can both move forward. Not the asshole. Staying with an uncle is not child abuse. Good way to unspoil her. Not the asshole. Op took the niece where she said she wanted to be. It was just for a week and she was brought back home. I understand that she's been through a lot in her young life and teenage outbursts are going to happen however, that doesn't give her a pass to continue to say hurtful words to someone in order for her to get her way. Not the asshole. I'm going to get downvoted to hell, but I don't care. Yes, she's lost both her parents and I really do feel for her. But every single time she doesn't like something, she tells OP that she'd rather live with her other uncle. What OP did was taught her a lesson. If I had a kid pulling that crap on me constantly, I would do the same thing to teach them that they are lucky to have the life they have and should learn to be appreciative. I highly doubt she will pull this on OP again. Lol all the folks saying you're the asshole probably had really soft parenting styles. Bratty behavior needs to be controlled not with anger or being bratty back to them but with consequences within reason. Or else, the kid will think they can do anything behave any way they want without consequences. If OP didn't endanger the kid by sending her to the uncles the kid didn't think they were going to be at uncles forever i.e. emotional torture not the asshole.